The issue is the tube is set, is crooked. Take this yeah, out. Yeah, I know. We got yeah, to yeah. Let go. A every, more every time we touch Let it. Go. Take this out. Every time we touch it, it's something. Oh, what? Mailbox. Look, it's got a little magnet. You put your mail in there to mail it. Uh huh. And then whenever he puts the mail in there that's delivered, when he puts it down, boom, it falls down into your locked section. Oh, wow. This, this is cool. Let's see if it has numbers. These are really nice. Inside the box where you lock it. Oh yeah, that's cool. And then I believe the box lands over here so you can't get to that. Well, well like, just all those cars. You wait until you see the mailbox. It's gonna be big enough with okay. the tube and the amount of concrete we have. Okay. Because the I'm also gonna we're gonna set this wherever we want in the concrete because I wanted to make the concrete tube at least that high. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to lay like a foot of just concrete and then we'll set the tonne and then we'll bring it up. So it actually has a footing so it's more like it's T-shaped so it don't fall over. There you go. That would have taken a good hour for me to do it by hand. I want to pretend like I'm part of the team. Oh, you gotta be a degenerate then. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> hey, I'm a little Chicago when I worked in stuff for 35 years. Where do you think I am? You're in the wrong place. Put the mailbox up about eight feet. Yep. <laughs> wow. Air mail only. Actually, what a foot off? Yeah. Or just leave it like that. Okay. What do you want to do? But don't go too far down because you nope. want that footer to. What do you think? I think it's good. You happy with that? Well, yeah, and then what we'll do is we'll put these up higher. Okay. We the got rebar. two more. Yeah, we got two more. Okay. So next so we ones we'll start shoving and then in. We put rebar again. And about halfway, we'll put that in, and then we'll finish it off, and it should be like okay. bomb proof. Anything, hey, I think it's well, pretty. Well, 
It could. That is a possibility. <laughs> It's gonna move a lot until we get a bunch in there, so I just wait. Fucking halfway already. Well, that was like 150 pounds that we just did. <laughs> sure. We'll probably do that before we leave for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, really, 900 pounds, huh? Didn't I do 900 pounds in that? In your security pole. The security pole. Yep. Camera needs to yes. <laughs> I guess you get, when you're behind the camera, you have to be quiet. Act like nobody's there. Pretty hot out, so we can. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> It'll do just fine. Let's dry by tonight. Oops, sorry. How far are we? We got about 15. Cut bags to go into. Those two. I got my steel saw here. We'll just hack it. We can make it pretty straight. Yep. We're just waiting on we're just waiting on water. Oh yeah, but I don't want to anticipate the command. Release. The agua. Moves in and have water. Yeah. You can cover them like program bags and they cover them for like a week or two. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you would not believe how hard this factory was. Looks like the Hoover Down, they say it's still not dry all the way. Well, I know from one cell I watched, we actually had cooling lines. Yeah, because it would get too hot. Yeah. Become a the heat generator from it, they uh, one of the things that's in the show, like something that would have taken 280 years to yeah. <laughs> go down the water. We're good. Yeah. A lot of mail. I think it's doesn't take too much in, but you can like leave it for days. Oh, there's two boxes? Yeah. Me and yours separate, their own locks. So what is that to there to the bottom? And then compare it to your mirror. Or your, That's uh, 48. What's your? Roughly, yeah. You there are about close enough. What's your? Uh, the issue is the tube is set is crooked. Take this yeah, out. Yeah, I know. We got yeah, to there. Let go. Every, every time we touch Let it. Go. Take this out. Every time we touch it, it's something different. <laughs> now straighten the tube. You gotta go this way a lot. Right there. Let's see how close it is. It's gotta come back to us just a little bit. Not much. Right there. To me. It's pretty okay. fairly close right now. Okay. There you go. Let's see how Not this looks. Not centered in here. Okay, it's gotta come over a little bit. Right there. Okay, let me cut the tube again. Got it? Tube's got to go a little to your left throat. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Right there. It's got to go and then come back. Yeah. And it's got to go this way too. Let's put some dirt in. Yep. Let's that's put some dirt in. I can handle that part. I like the, I like, I'm, I sell it the mindless jobs. 
or or the tractor and do it in one second. Where do you, where do you want it? <laughs> Fill the sides up. Yeah, which one? You know, I, uh, you know what I'm getting at is you want me to put more on this side or this side? The whole thing, just so we can pack it on each yeah. side. Just so you know, I know where to start, you know, yeah. and stuff. But if I keep going around. Yeah, just anywhere, it's fine. <laughs> Go for it. One job we did in the underground. Goofy operator, every time we got it set and stuff, and then drill it start driving on Five-gallon bucket at a time. You know, bringing it in wheelbarrows. Five-gallon bucket down a well wheel down to the basement. Yeah. Pour it in the form. And more. In. That could be a real pain. We work on it from about 10 o'clock in the morning to about 8:30 at night. Our little mailbox stand up. We have about 600 pounds of concrete with the footing down below, about two, two feet below, two foot wide, two foot deep. We put our, a couple pieces of rebar, 600 pounds of concrete. Done deal, just wait for it to dry. Throw our mailboxes on there, we're good to go. We have mail. Thank <laughs> you. 